ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnought. Where today we continue our German campaign. And after last episode, I hit the end turn once. Um, my fleets are preparing now to move here. But some annoyances have happened. Um, the British are really eager to declare war on me. So I'm pumping money in there. Tonkin is about to fall into my hands. And the attack on Equatorial Guinea is progressing rapidly. The naval invasion will hopefully will get enough uh, naval support here to actually crush them. We also have a large fleet in Gibraltar itself. Let's send them out. More fleet power is more fleet power, right? So slowly the attack on the French is continuing. Now, besides that, I have been looking at my designs. I've been cleaning up a bit and I forgot to turn on my recordings while I was upgrading these two designs. The V-35 and V-89, they have been upgraded to be more in line with the V-111 class in terms of speed. So they'll be able to continue serving together, essentially. That's, that's the whole idea. Um, and then I was looking at the other ships and I was like, yeah, but the other ships need an overhaul as well. Hersher, for example. 1900 cruiser i still have them i'm using them i haven't really upgraded them yet like never and we have some work to do on these ships that is for sure let's start off with the engines We can go to natural boilers. Instead of Harvey armor, we can go crop with anti torp. Double bottom. Anti flood 2. Citadel 1 is fine. I mean, this is a lot better already, isn't it? And we got a hefty armor belt. So we should be able to do quite quite decently with this new upgrade. Um, that's sad though. I want 22 knots if possible. I'm willing to go back to induced for that. <clears throat> Range remains fairly limited. Yeah, let's keep the, let's keep it at a lower range ship for now. Heavy armor though. Yeah. <clears throat> the Hersha. I do not plan on building more of these ships, but we should keep them uh, up to date, right? I think we should. And we have a lot of designs of 1905s. Hmm. Okay, well, we're at 1908, we have 1905 designs. Udin, Shea, and Ariadne are 1901 designs, even. Um, I don't think I will build any more Hanovers. I got a couple of them with our triple turret setup, but... Yeah. Delete the original design. 
de Kurfürst Friedrich? Ja. Yeah. No. Her share herself? No. V35, am I gonna build you again? No, I don't think so. It's a lovely 950 tons. Actually bringing that down to 890 tons in the upgrade, so no. So this, this cleans up nicely, doesn't it? Ariadne. It's a ship that I still have a lot in service. Um, they're starting to show their age. Let's get a refit done. Look at that. Lovely guns. However, I'm going to get rid of some. I'm going to replace you with a 5 incher, I think. Or maybe even a 6 incher. Like so. <clears throat> Just to get a bit more firepower into, into these ships. Because they are seriously underpowered. <laughs> Balanced out. Let's make them 6 fours. why not? Let's go something different for a change. Increase the barrel length on the 3 inch. Casemates. 7 5, 7 5, 7 5, 10 kilometers. Yeah, nice. Funnels, we have enhanced funnels. Front Tower 2, we can go up to Front Tower 4 on these ships. Alright, let's get rid of those things. <coughs> hmm. Interesting, Secondary Tower. Let's replace you as well. Ooh, that is a lot better. I mean, look at it. 1300 tower spotting versus 900, <clears throat> for example. 20 torpedo spotting. Yeah, this is so much better. <clears throat> Had to sacrifice a gun for it, though. Not a fan of that. Do you still function? Yes. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> there we go. We still have our four inch guns now. Peric acid, please. No brown powder. Wow. Yeah. Outdated, sir. Uh, outdated. This will help a bit, though. Bit longer range. That's the main thing that I wanted. Ok, 
Okay. And I'm immediately going to refit at least four of them. Udin. Yeah, see, let's see if we can upgrade you as well. Might need a complete rehaul of this class. Refit. Yeah. Clear out. Start off with the torpedo launchers. After all, that is the gimmick of this ship. And let's get mines in as well. Three inch casemates, no two inch on the hull. Then I need a main tower, from tower one. 800 tower spotting, hold on. Why would I go, would I go from tower one? Exactly. Minus 12 uh, smoke. Smoke interference is better. Damage control. However, the minimal tower holds my interest more, I'm afraid. Minimal rear tower, sure. I would like this ship to do 22 knots. Is that doable? No. 20 knots. Hardly. 19. Short range. Let's get some turbines in. I have a bit of a four weight offset, oddly enough. Though I could place the main tower here. Then we still have a four weight offset that's retarded. How? Why are my turbines put in the front of the ship? You tell me, guys. You tell me. Um, I can't have any other torpedo launchers. We could install... We could install a 7-inch gun. Would that be... Retarded, yes. Fun, yes. This ship will get a 7.9 <laughs> cannon on the aft section. Suppose we add two guns to the front, two four inchers. <clears throat> okay. Secondary guns, tell me. All right, some three inch guns. That's too much. Is there anything else I need for this ship? Um, well, yeah, rangefinder, obviously. That sucks. Oh, crop armor for the win. Electric 
steering. Unbalanced rudder, yes please. Can we get reinforced bulkheads? Yes we can. Now this is gonna be a weird ship. Standard ratio shells. Capped. Soft. Ooh. Soft capped. 1.5 aft weight. Um, drop the aft belt a bit. For weight 0.5. Point four. Yeah, point four is fine. Besides, I'm not going to get this any better. <clears throat> so, a seven inch gun, two four inch guns, a couple of three inch guns. She will not last much longer in, uh, in this fleet, I fear. The time for the torpedo cruiser has come and gone. We still have a lot of them, though. Let's start by upgrading half of them to the new design. Okay. Refitting nine ships right now. In terms of finances, in terms of shipbuilding, it's all good. It's all good. As you can see, we are still building destroyers, cruisers, and two battleships. Yes, I also decided I wanted to build two new battleships. <clears throat> For I expect a war, like I said, with Great Britain. And I want to be able to outgun them, for sure. And with that, this turn comes to an end, I think. This turn comes to an end. Um, is there anything else we need to do? Research. In one month, we will get semi-armored light cruiser hulls. Curious to see what they will be like. And we get longer range torpedoes. Okay. Semi Armored Cruiser Three. We talked to Tonkin, the USA to Cuba. Oh, Kennedy, oh, Kennedy. You would have liked that, wouldn't you? Sadly, that is not the case. Would like to launch another naval invasion, but I need to use my time to improve relations right now. So let's do that instead. After all, we still have a naval invasion going here. 90% chance for success. 
Invasion of France is uh, not succeeding. Stop from France. It's okay, though. It's okay. If I... Oh, yeah. By the way, northern Spain has been taken by the English. God damn it. Yeah, let's keep focusing on that. Um, cruisers, ship designs. I mean, we have the very small Angelicas. 3,000 tons. But we can build light cruisers up to 6,000 tons now. Twice the size. Also, can't remember that I had dread. Do I have Dreadnought 3 hulls in service? Hold on. No, no. And these are some of my more modern ones. No, I don't think I do. Ostfriesland? No, I don't. Hmm. Okay, well. New battleship design as well, then. First things first. Um, Light Cruiser 3. Right? You know, you can go to 8,000 ton, 10,000 ton, 7,000... 12,000. Light Cruiser 4 hull. Yeah, right now it, it's an 8,000 tonner. Uh, I can see... Tell me. Yeah, only one torpedo uh, position. Yeah, no. Let's, let's go to the battleship. 33,000 tons? No. Let's go somewhere in the middle. How about 30,000 tons? Making her quite a bit bigger than the older battleships. Hmm. Can we go to 25 knots with you? Honestly, if that's possible, I would be very pleased indeed. Two hyper funnels will get me the power I need. 13 inch Mark III guns. Ooh, with a bit of a four weight offset though now. Um. Let's place you here. Tell me. New idea. A turret over there, please. Okay, the advanced rear deck tower can go there. That's the only one that can. That's fine, though. Oh, come on. A 
secondary guns. Three four inch guns. That'll, that'll do. Four inch casemates. And this battleship. We'll not have a lot of armor this way. Okay, there we go. Ten inch. My superstructure is not getting hit today. Conning tower of 15. Let's increase off belt. To balance her. Okay. I think I got, we got ourselves a lovely little battleship here. A good replacement for all my other battleships in the long run. There we go. Especially with her 25 knots, she will be fast. She will be very fast. Um, I can actually lower that to get standard crew quarters in. Citadel 1 is possible. Let's keep it at Citadel 1. There we go. There we go, people. The Brandenburg. Thirteen inch guns. Safe design. You know what? I'm going to scrap the two battleships that are under construction. I'm going to replace them with two of these. The two Ostfrieslands. Scrap. Finances looking good. Construction looking good. All right, in that case, I'm gonna build two more. Ooh, that's over capacity, isn't it? Yeah. Is that bad? Yeah, that's pretty bad. Kerning, scrap you. There we go, that's better. Tell me. Nine months, nine months, three months, four months, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's that's pretty pretty okay, pretty okay. So these battleships will replace the older ones as quickly as possible. So I will start phasing out um, the older battleships starting, I think, 
with the very cheap Hanover class that I'm gonna phase that one out first to get the new battleships operational instead. Um, I did do my politics, yes, and turn. So, that was a bit of a long turn. Every now and then, I do enjoy those. Just building, redesigning, thinking about stuff. Strike and a naval invasion. The strike is probably, ooh, Brits are scrapping some older ships. That's the strike. Oh, come on. Politics. Well, back to Britain. Improve relations. Yes, please. I don't want to get into a war with you, sir. Not yet. Maybe when I've defeated France, take at least these two provinces. Then yes, then I'm willing to go into a war with the United Kingdom, but not right now. Nelsa, one month, then the destroyers, the new destroyers will be done. Lowering my negative balance quite a bit. Ah, there we go again. I can do this once more. And that's it. That's the fourth time. Let's see. Oh, shit. Indeed, we got Spain, ladies and gentlemen. Southern Spain is ours. I have one thing to say to that. Hurrah! France, let's take a look. You're down to 13 million people. You're a minor nation, mate. Army logistics, 31%. Half a million men remain. You have one battleship. Okay. Um, I'm tempted to go for the peace deal, actually. We took Equatorial Guinea. Yeah, I'm going for the peace deal because I'm expecting the war with the English to start any minute now. And honestly, my fleet needs at least one or two turns of downtime to, you know, get repaired, refueled, re everything. Come on. Move into La Rochelle, please. And then we have another fleet here. Let's move you towards the coast of Brest. Austrian ships. So I'm gonna su suggest we get into a war with the English. Then what? What do we do? Um, in America, there is no real threats. Over here in Oceania, there is not much threat either. 
There is some threat from Australia, of course. And I suppose an attack on Malaya is the first step I need to do here. At least blockade it. Um, in Europe, the lo logic dictates that northern Spain is my first target, right? After that, I can try to take Ireland. But I mostly have to go defensive, I think. Let's see if we can get a peace deal, France. I'm willing. You're willing. You can remain a minor nation if you want, or you can die. I will not put any more money into my uh, relation with the United Kingdom, though. If we get into a war, we get into a war. The war continues with France. Seriously. There we go. War with the United Kingdom, ladies and gentlemen. Two wars on our hand now. France, I did not quite expect you not to accept that. My plans remain unchanged though. I'll push for uh, Northern Spain. And besides that, we will see. Thuringia is an old ship. So is Hamburg. V6. Ooh. Very old. But we've spotted our enemy. Slow down 60 to 16 knots, please. Hamburg. You will detach. V6 will detach as well. Smoking up, that's two light cruisers then. Yeah, would have sworn it was a heavy cruiser when I first uh, started this engagement. Oh well. Hamburg is engaging. Thuringia, stay at longer range, please. Ooh, torpedo. I saw some torpedo detonations there. Destroyer, increase to flank. Yeah, there they are. Destroyer, come in. Aggressive torpedo authorized. Good luck. What? What? Thuringia got torpedoed? Where on earth did that torpedo come from? Seriously. Damage report. Where on earth did that torpedo come from? Who did that? That was a destroyer torpedo that came in from an angle. I thought you fired before. What a bloody waste. Am I going to lose my entire task force here? Maybe, depending if I can kill the ship or not here. Thuringia, keep firing. 
Ember, turn. Destroyer, turn. We gotta go in aggressively now. We gotta keep pushing that ship. Torpedo in the water. Thuringia, turn away. Turn away faster, please. Alright, that's good. That's good. That's good. Keep firing. Thuringia dodged. Aggressive torpedoes on Hamburg authorized. She should be dead. She surrendered. Excellent. Thuringia retreats. V6 cover. Hamburg cover. It's one of the older cruisers, of course, and while I did make the upgraded design, I have not upgraded the ships yet. Ooh, good hit, good hit, good hit. And another one. That'll seal her fate. Yes! Done and done before the torpedo will hit me. Korea wants destroyers, yes, sure. Portugal, no. Norway, no. Some ungoverned territory is gonna get attacked, that's fine. Come on, move into La Rochelle. There we go. This division into breasts. There are not a lot of British ships around, so let's take advantage of that. By essentially blockading the British ports. No ships in Kiel. <sighs> in fact, these ships, your ammo is a bit on the low side, but for the rest you're okay. Let's move here instead. In Brest, we have an, Aus we have an uh, Austrian division. Fuel is a bit low on the destroyers here, but otherwise these ships are okay. Gonna move you towards Ireland. Towards Ireland? No. Bay of Biscay, please. Let's stay here. Politics. United Kingdom. Naval invasion. Northern Spain. Yes. All ships that are not damaged from this division may move out. All undamaged ships from here. Ooh. That's not a lot, it's only half the division. Gibraltar has some Austrian ships. Most of the ships here are being repaired as well. Look at that, 29 ships, including 8 battleships, are being repaired right now. That's pretty damn insane. Um, okay. Let's see what happens.
If I can take northern Spain, I will be very happy. That's a disgrace, Japan. Get lost. One hundred seventy. Okay, that's doable. Disappointing that we didn't get a raid on the uh, ports there. Right, let's move to block over here. A heavily defended convoy. I am not gonna manually do that. French convoy. Good. Politics, France. Again. Last time I'm gonna ask if they don't accept it now, then the fight with the French will continue. How? I do not know, but it will continue then. Pomeran has been repaired. All my battleships are back into service. The war continues. Soviet Union. No, 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 no. No, that's too much. Not the Soviet Union as well. I mean, we've seen what happens if you fight France, England, and the Soviet Union at the same time. It is a very bad idea. Okay, done and done. 79%, yeah, we are slowly taking this, that is good. Another French convoy, single ship. 11 transports sank there, that is good. Naval invasion, more than enough firepower, but only a 30% chance. 30% chance is not a lot. Yellow Sea. We're seeing some Japanese engagements here. Um, these are most of these are not upgraded, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Britain, naval invasion. Let's attack the north of Borneo. That'll be fun. And will probably get me into some engagements with the British fleet.
finances. Yeah, two turns without research, and I have more than enough money. But I'm not gonna do that. Also, I'm gonna lose southern Spain because I have no soldiers there. This game mechanic is a bit annoying now and then. I wish you could manually say, I want 25,000 soldiers here. I want 68,000 soldiers there. I want half a million soldiers there. I would like that. At least abilities to influence how many soldiers are in certain positions. Um, I'm sorry, China, I can't afford that. That is way too much. Oh. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, comes an end to this episode. Join me next time to see if my small raider fleet, being led by the old Admiral Graf Spee, is actually capable of doing some damage against the Japanese. Until then, take care.